we need to open. For uh, removing the air piston, first you have to remove the bolts of uh, air piston flange. So for uh, removing the bolts, you have to use the uh, right uh, spanners. Do not use undersize or oversize spanner so that uh, you can avoid damaging the bolt heads. So now we had removed the bolts. So for uh, removing the flange, all we need to is uh, you just use a screwdriver and you just need to uh, hit a bit and uh, the flange will come up and this is your flange and always whenever you remove any spare parts, keep it uh, safely and uh, once you remove the flange, rub with some uh, rags remove all the oil stains over the air piston so that uh, it will be easy for us to remove it so now we need to hit uh, the air piston with some zinc anode so that uh, it will uh, go down the air piston will go down so use a bit uh, bigger uh, zinc anode or any kind of uh, brass hammer or something so now i'm using a zinc anode bit bigger one so once you hit uh, over the cylinder air piston the piston will uh, go down so this is how we need to push your air piston down and uh, now we have to remove the locking ring you can see uh, the locking ring this is the locking ring for uh, air piston and this don't allow the air piston to go up so now it will be in two parts so you just uh, hit with a small uh, hammer it will come out so always uh, again as i said whenever you remove something you keep it uh, safely so for uh, removing this uh, air piston all you need to do is you have to uh, remove it like uh, lift it by engine room crane because this uh, air piston is bit heavy so it is always advisable to use uh, engine room crane to lift the air piston so you have to use uh, proper uh, eye bolts uh, you have to check with the safe weight load of the eye bolts and you can use it it's a m12 eye bolt so we are using it so before using any eye bolts or any lifting equipment always ensure you are uh, checking uh, the quality like uh, how the lifting equipment is there like it should not be having any damages or something and if you are using a belt always check for the safe weight load of the belt and uh, check for any damages in the belts so now we are using uh, eye bolts lifting belt and we are using a d shackle so we checked everything all the lifting e lifting equipments are in good condition now uh, we had attached our uh, we are attaching our uh, lifting equipments so now we are going to lift the air piston of uh, exhaust valve so our uh, lifting uh, belts is already secured with the air piston so we'll be using uh, engine room crane to lift uh, air piston so always uh, whenever you are using engine room crane ensure the cranes are uh, tested properly and uh, as i said earlier you have to do proper checkups of any lifting equipment before you do any operation with the same so now uh, we checked our engine room crane all everything is fine now uh, we are using the engine room crane to lift uh, this air piston this air piston is not uh, too much uh, heavy it's a 45 kilo but it is still safe to use a crane or a chain block to lift this so now we are using a crane for uh, lifting our uh, air piston so this is how we need to attach and always ensure your crane is straight position whenever you are lifting any equipments so now we have to lift it slowly slowly so ensure uh, 
you are uh, lifting in a proper way it should not be in a cross the crane should not be in a cross way so now uh, you can see the air piston is coming up very nicely and yes it's out of uh, exhaust wall spindle so this is how we need to remove the air piston of uh, exhaust valve and whenever you secure it always secure it over any wooden wooden plate or uh, any cardboard or something this is idea is to avoid any damages on the surface of air piston so now you can see the air piston has been uh, secured safely over uh, wooden cardboard uh, now uh, all we need to do is uh, next we are going to remove the exhaust valve spindle and uh, dismantle the exhaust valve seat so for removing the exhaust valve spindle we have to put back the air cylinder again to the exhaust valve cage so what we need to do is we have to put back the cylinder back to exhaust valve cage fitted back the air cylinder exhaust valve air cylinder in place now all we need to do is we have to put back the nuts again no need to tighten it just hand tighten is fine so we put back the nut in all the four bolts so tighten it uh, just hand tighten should be okay So now we are done with the tightening of our uh, nuts so just uh, do a hand tightening that hand tightening should be okay so for removing the exhaust valve spindle from the exhaust valve cage all we need to do is uh, we had already removed the air piston and uh, already removed the locking pin for our uh, exhaust valve spindle so now all we need to do is uh, you have to lift the exhaust valve when you lift the exhaust valve the spindle will uh, remain down only so the cage is completely separated from the exhaust valve spindle
so now we had uh, removed both the exhaust valve seat locking plates so now we are ready to lift the exhaust valve cage so always ensure uh, whenever you are uh, lifting your uh, exhaust wall cage or any lifting equipment just ensure the crane is straight now you can see the exhaust valve cage is being lifted and you can see the exhaust valve spindle and seat or left down so this is how we need to remove the this is one way actually to remove the exhaust valve spindle and exhaust valve seat from exhaust valve cage so once you removed your exhaust valve cage secure it uh, properly in its stand Now we had secured our exhaust wall cage in its stand. So you can see the exhaust valve spindle and seat is being uh, separated from the exhaust valve cage. So once we are done with this, again uh, you have to unscrew the nut of uh, oil cylinder, remove it, and uh, you can uh, dismantle the oil cylinder from exhaust valve cage. So you can proceed uh, further for uh, doing cleaning of our exhaust valve cage that is uh, removing of uh, carbon deposits on the exhaust valve cage. So all those uh, things you can do only once uh, you remove your oil cylinder from the exhaust valve cage. So again uh, whenever you remove any bolts or any spares secure it properly and safely. So now we are going to remove the oil cylinder by engine room crane and oil cylinder whenever you are uh, removing just secure it uh, over uh, wooden plank or uh, any cardboard that is uh, the idea is to ensure your uh, oil cylinder base is not getting damaged by improperly securing the oil cylinder. Okay, I believe uh, after watching this uh, video, you must be having some idea about uh, how to remove an air piston from exhaust valve and how to dismantle exhaust valve spindle and exhaust valve spindle seat. So if you like this video do not forget to subscribe and if you have any doubt please uh, give a comment on our uh, comment box definitely i will reply your uh, queries thanks for watching the video in the next video we will see how to check what are all the checks that we need to do in exhaust valve spindle and what are all the checks that we need to do in exhaust valve spindle seats thanks for watching guys see you soon bye